Yo, what's going on guys, your boy King J, and we have Eddie Teach Me episode today with Aeneas, and if you lot don't know who Aeneas is, before he speaks, he is definitely one of the most notable Eddie players in Europe. If you don't know about him in Tag 2, you know, he was really, really strong, Tekken 7 is strong as well, so, you know, it was only right to get him to do the Eddie Teach Me episode, so, Aeneas, man, how are you doing today? Uh, I'm fine, thanks for having me, it's a pleasure. Thank you for uh, thank you for your time and thank you for jumping on the show, man. So without further ado, we're gonna go into the Eddie teach me. So first things first, talk me through Eddie's key moves. Okay, so I start with simple one two, mm -hmm. okay, which is fundamental, basic, but it's very nice if you could combine it with the backdash. Yeah, which I say it's the most important uh, thing to learn. If you want to use uh, ID, because you're going anywhere if, if, if it, when you're not able to backdash properly. It's, backdash is amazing, but you need to it, and so that's it. Probably, your your, your yeah. mic keeps on fading in and out, by the way, just, just so you know. Is that like. I don't know what. I, I said one, two. Okay. Especially because if you block it, yeah. then with the proper backdash, you're able to already punish. Ah. Uh, uh, yep. Nice. That's it. So if you answer back, if you open up uh, answer back, then you already have uh, a reply. Then I would say from standing, a uh, very uh, good move is four, which is a fast meet. It's pretty straightforward, but it's very nice walking and keep out. As you can see, the, the range is amazing. Yeah. And it's only 12 uh, feet. Uh, it's minus 9, so basically uh, you turn afterwards, but it's good anyway, I think. Especially yeah. because if you do a deep range, then okay, you lose your turn, but uh, you have distance to play with. And again, the backdash and comes to play. Okay, so, cool, nice. Uh, on item block is not particularly. Good, but it's zero, so yeah. Then another pocket move from standing is the uh, down four one one, yeah, which is delayable, natural hit. Nice, there you go. Uh, you have to be careful because uh, it's duckable. The second one, uh, it's duckable. Yeah. Okay, then. Uh, of course, I, I would have started with, uh, if you ask me uh, to collaborate um, in second Tag 2 or second 6, I would have sure started with down forward 2, but now it is uh, pretty nerfed uh, in passage from second Tag 2 to second uh, 7, so it, even if it's, uh, I think it's key mode, but it's very good, yeah, but yeah. it's been nerfed a lot, so it lost uh, almost all this tracking and his vertical hitbox and he became a frame slower as you can see he's 50. Okay. So like you he could do like down forward 1-1 one, one, and if it hits you go for down forward 2, yeah. that's the usual setup. Yeah. But uh, for example if you do, if you land, you manage to land 1-2 which is uh, plus 5 as you can see. Uh, many characters, if not all the characters can then step down forward 2. So it's pretty harsh, honestly, but uh, it's a uh, safe and counter launcher, so it's very good. If on it, the opponent fall, uh, has the no split animation. Yeah. So it allows you a uh, guaranteed follow up, which is uh, the simplest is uh, forward 4, or you have dash uh, forward 3. Western 3. So you basically land that. And you're forced to stay on the ground because it might pick you up. Yeah, but okay. Yeah. Then uh, I think, yeah, uh, as an homing moves, uh, he has not so good homing moves. He has 3, which is 18 and it's a high. 18 feet. And then uh, good one. Almost good one. It's forward, forward two. 
Okay. Yeah. Both as follow up, as follow up. Sorry. So, but three. That uh, there's three four. Okay. But the four is steppable and is uh, interruptible. So you can interrupt it with uh, one simple jab. Yeah. You need timing, but you can. Do it. There you go. And it floats you. Mm -hmm. And the second one uh, has a very delayable uh, for a uh, low, as you can see. Yeah. And it's naturally on counter. Ah. It's not it's not not naturally on simple. Uh, but it's not on oh wait, you want to knock? I knock me down, knock me down. Hit the counter. Then you know, counter, if you get the low counter, you got this animation, which allows you to uh, up, up three. And, up three. and that's up it's three. Yeah. It's more of a gimmick, honestly, but another thing uh, is that three uh, stunt, so counter launches. Ah. Uh, oh. Then what I think uh, Eddie excels in is uh, keep out and uh, the series of lows. Okay. The keep out. The, we have the sorry, uh, the infamous side step to transport. Okay. Which is an amazing keep out move. Um, your mic, your mic keeps on going in and out. By the way, I don't oh, know. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Go on. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you clear, clear, clear now. Uh, uh, I was saying the the best keep out is side step to transport. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So you can play with your opponent uh, my game and it's usually the at the near the opponent that is very afraid to uh interact such that we pass for. Okay. Because the the main property I think is the interaction between the hitboxes and uh, when like for example uh, the opponent is trying to approach as you can see by itself it's quite short yeah but then it can it, like it might something it might no, your, your mic it, keeps cutting it, out again because you're saying something and then it just goes quiet oh but yeah so go on yeah go on um so the 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 main, the main feature is the interaction between the hitboxes, so you might be able to uh, some some uh, of, let's say I'll get the the hitbox bigger, but it's okay. not because it's getting bigger because it's interacting with yours. Uh. I mean the opponents. So it might it, it looks like he has more reach than than expected, and that's why they. So. Okay. So yeah, another very good keep out move is out for a four, hit and low crash. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't low crash that much, honestly, because there's a really quite huge uh, set of blows that it doesn't crash, but it's very good way. Anyway. Plus, yeah. it was flat. Okay. And then, uh, yeah. Four, four, three, which is the bounce, bounce of well. Nice. And tend to use to either keep out or anticipate my opponent. Oh, that's minus fourteen. Damn, that's a lot. Isn't yeah, it? it's minus fourteen. Fourteen if you stand uh, standing, mm. you stay standing. But if you go down, it's minus three. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Uh, I was oh yeah uh, about any I got keep out I say four okay and then for lows the, his lows are good but the what uh, I like the most is the range and the variety of the lows so we have down for a four okay which tracks so it's very good because it's the only uh, other two not not the only but one of the very few to, to track. Okay. Back. Yeah. Together with back one and back two, uh, back four. Sorry. Yeah. Then you have a super good down back group, which is a very good range. 
then down three is not just that much, but I think it's good. Mm. Okay. And then we have the infamous side step, uh, side step four. Okay. okay. What about it's down, safe. down four? four. Yeah, it's safe only if it it is. So if I block now, set. yeah. Okay. You see, it's minus two. It allows you uh, to transition into stance, into uh, unstand, which is good. And if you let it go, you go into plus. So if I if I do what, it goes into unstand. Uh, 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 side step four back. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So it gives you a little bit of momentum. Okay, cool. And then is there then okay, I would say. Um, Oh yeah, for the lows I'm, I'm fine with that. And, oh, there, there's the other one, which is uh, more efficient of all, which is down back 3-4. Which is natural hit. Okay. But in open stages, sometimes the 4 doesn't doesn't connect. So it's basically... I, I suggest to use it when you're close to the wall. Okay. And it will... Okay, it will splash and I'm at a walk. Yeah. Good, good, good. Very good. It doesn't always was flat, but in, with the proper angle, it, it does. It's so weird that it doesn't work like that. Yeah. Then uh, another series of very good move. I, I I'm sure you, uh, like to talk about the counter. Yeah. Counter moves. I, I already mentioned down for uh, down for part two. Then we have back for three, which is another say for part two, and I think it's very very. Also because uh, it's in, it in, uh, inconfirmable of counter, the window is not that uh, that wide but it's doable, and uh, leads to very damaging combo. As you can see. Hmm. I didn't connect now, but it, because I, I tried the best one. Usually the, the jackal is this one. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh. Okay, nice. Which is good. Yeah. Nice. So, is that it for the key moves, or is there other key moves? Uh, I, I would mention. I would like to mention this move, which is not so popular, let's say. But uh, I, I tend to use quite, quite, quite a lot uh, lately, which is down forward two, which is a very good uh, keep up move because the range is better than down forward two, as you can see. They can reach you from far away, and encounter it. Uh, it Stuns like that, yeah. So it gives you uh, another. Hit. Nice. Yep, it's very good. And then for the finish, uh, like a YOLO move, it's power for four, which, which is low crash and leads to very good carry, as you can see. It's just about to do it. And yeah. then uh, he low crashes. So yeah. if you're expecting a low, it's very good. And if you block it, stand up, please. If you block it, there's quite a uh, pushback. Yeah. You can see, you can play tricks. It's basically gimmicks. Then, uh, to finish, I, uh, I would say the punish, punishers. Mm -hmm. Then, we have the jabs. From 12, we have, uh, depending on distance, I have 4 or 2 1. Or one plus two, which is good. Okay. Then, uh, otherwise, we have four or two three, but this has issues. So uh, it's very good, but it's not that much, honestly. You can do rage out after in it. Yeah. No. Uh, no. No. It was. If you you can do it if you not manage to get back properly. Uh -huh. So you, you can recover into standing position properly, and then you are able to um, block the range arc. Okay. Uh, nonetheless, long range uh, moves, like, I don't know, let's say, uh, Devil Jeans 4x4. Mm. Uh, 
uh, or in general long range moves are able to uh, eat and add the effect whilst your uh, is removed. So okay. basically you're forcing it to recover, but then you're risking anyway. And yeah. this puts you in a risky situation, even if uh, you are hit. Okay. The solution is to go, uh, if you're uh, on it, you're up plus six, get it. Mm. Uh, on it, you are plus six, so you basically okay. you can play games with uh, and stand for uh, the helicopter and step forward. Okay? okay, but this forces you to to play a move, and if the opponent blocks it, then you're done. So this is not that big. Okay. And 14 frames, we have back to four, which is very good. Mm. And 15 frames, we have uh, down for to plus four. This mm. is one of the, the best uh, buffs at receive uh, at the passage from uh, second second tech to second seven because it was 16 before 16 frame now it's 50. Yeah, and I think, and that, I think that's definitely one of the key moves to be fair because this is like one of the best. Whisp I think this is really one of the best whip punishers for me. Yeah. I think it's very very good. And outside of like Noctis is down forward to you, I think this is really good. And then, yeah, for long range, very long range punches, you can go for the over As you can see, the range is amazing. Yeah. And if you're particularly on point, then you can instant dash, uh, sorry, crouch, crouch, and go for the yeah. West thing in one free, which is for, uh, 13 frames, which is very good. And uh, likewise, uh, the B33, it leads to a very good damaging uh, combo, so it's very nice. Okay, cool. So, I, I don't, yeah. Yeah. don't want to go too much into like the frames, because I want people to learn about the key moves and stuff like that, mm -hmm. so... Obviously, I appreciate you telling us the frames, but we're going to move on to key okay. moves in stance. Now, obviously, I know he has... From what I remember, two stances. He has the handstand and relax stance. So just tell, talk yes. me through them. Talk me through the moves that go through, go into those, that transition into it, and then talk me through the stuff that actually happened in the stance. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I will stand. Uh, I will start with the uh, handstand position. Mm -hmm. uh, I started with uh, jabs. Now uh, there's a, a new feature of Tekken Seven that if you press F, this allows you to go into. Uh, Okay. And if you let it go, just let it go, you, you end up in relax. So it's very good. Okay, especially if you got momentum and you put the pressure on your opponent. There you go. So you nice. end up right in front of him, so ready for mix ups. Nice. Yep. Otherwise, you can go uh, into unstand position directly, of course, mm -hmm. uh, which F1 plus 2. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And there are a lot of transitions, like uh, I'm the one I mentioned before, okay? But there are very a lot. So you need to scroll down the common list to, to look for it. Yeah. But there are many. There are very many. Like, for example, down from a 1, F, into a transition. Yep. Okay, so if you had like five, five most used ones, what would be the most used ways of getting into hands, uh, the handstand? Uh, depending on momentum and my opponent, I, I tend to use the direct, sorry, uh, direct uh, transition or down for one. Because uh, it depends. Uh, also, you have to be very uh, precise to notice if you landed it or the, if it blocks the block of the, your, your four. Like for example. A landed jab is different than a block jab to, to transition into a handstand. Okay. But let's say that for one is very good because usually a prepared opponent tends to duck. So his this thing is time to duck. Okay. To okay. Otherwise, I look. I, I like and look for uh, down four by three. That, sorry, down down back three. Okay. Because you can transition and you can create space. 
Huh? As you can see, he, he, he goes backwards a little bit. Okay, nice. And it's then, yeah. what's the other? What's the other two? Cause that's free. Oh, otherwise, uh, from relax, there's a uh, the chance to uh, ability to go into handstand position by pressing F. Okay. These are the three main things that should be used. So we could just go forward one plus two. Yep. Yep. One F. If you're on relax and you like to mix up, mix up. Okay, and then one more. Give me one more. Oh, the transition oh, into handstand. Oh, so step four. There you okay, go. so that's step four. Okay, cool. And then um, let me know what you can get out of hands, um, handstand. Oh, the moves. The moves uh, got uh, slower uh, than second tag two, mm -hmm. but the good moves are there. Uh, uh, handstand two. The helicopter. All right, and give the notations as well when you're doing the moves as well, so that yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and a very tricky one is unstand down three plus four, which is very evasive. He evades also some kind of mids and, and launches. So the combo would be. Oh, okay. That's what I was gonna say. It's probably the two. Nice. So if to do it, it would be Ooh, uh, down, oh, down, down. Plus four. There you go. Oh, two hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to get used to this character. This character is uh, definitely do again. Yeah. Nice. And then uh, 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 into the mix up. Yep. Yeah, it's very tricky. Yeah, he's a pretty tricky character. That's why I needed you to to get you one, man. So you could just anytime I go back to this now, and I wanna you know try and get Tekken Go Prime with Eddie. I'll just watch this video. So, you know, I just need to learn like the key stuff with it. So, what other stuff did you have from handstand uh, handstand stance? Like what other things? Oh, I, I like this one because as you can, it's the same role as let's say an interceptor. How do you do that? Uh, F. And unstand F4, yeah, there you go. Three plus four. Uh, and the uh, range he covers is amazing. As you can see, it's, up, it's an up range, uh, up stage. There you go. Oh, okay. Nice. Yep. And what? Okay. Same way. Unstand back free. Okay, which is very good. The uh, low is twice low and steppable though. But if you're able to land, then you got a chance to land a mix up. So you got a chance of a mix up here? Yeah. Nice. Okay, cool. Is there any other stuff from handstand stance? I want to try and skip through this oh, one. Okay. Uh, I what? think the throw. But we, we're talking about it uh, later, though, right? Yeah. Yes. So, but yeah. at least at least people know that you can do it from handstand. So, well, how do you Three do plus. it? 3 plus 4. Okay. Nice. It, it, it's not skippable, but you can duck. Okay. So, um, is there anything else? I'm sure. Does he have a power crush? Yeah, the power crush. There we go. Power crush, which is not that good. You don't think, it's that, you don't think anyway. it's that good? No. Because I um, don't want to get too much uh, into it, but frame wise, uh, the chances to hunt it is that um, much. Ah, okay. So, it's basically a uh, gimmick. I of the power crash. Then let's say, oh, there's this one, which is very good. Unstand F1, which leads you to jab. Okay. Oh, nice. It's very good, let's see. Let me, ta -ta. then you go into unstand again. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay, is there, is there anything else from that side? Yeah. And then, let's, uh, okay, that one, I think it's, yeah, I think it's all, the best moves I've done. Okay, cool, so let's go into relax dance, which is you can do manually by down 3 plus 4, tell me the stuff you can do. Yep. This this dance is a bit tricky. Yeah, then you can go dire in, directly into relax, pressing down 3 plus 4, mm -hmm. then, uh, uh, like, uh, and stand, there are several moves that allow you 
and down. Two. That's like down for three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Up forward three, down. Okay. Like uh, we mentioned already before, uh, forward forward three down. Sorry. Go. Up forward for three down. Yeah. Or simply playing tricks. Like I I I want to fake the go. I fake understand. Yeah. You just you just simply let it go. Okay, and then give me like, give me two more quick, quick ones. Oh, I think that. you could do. You could do. Uh, what, what was that? How do you do that one again? Oh yeah, that one. Ah, nice. Very good at the ball. Yeah. Nice. I've never seen that. I never knew that one. <laughs> wow. There's a, a, an American player called DM which uses this quite a lot. It's very good to profession on ball. Nice. I like yeah. when he does it, yeah. Okay, so you know that move where he does that kind of jumping kick? I don't know how to do it. He does the jump kick into that, into the launch or the low. Yeah, this one. So this is yeah. up, up, where is it? Up, forward, three. Up, forward, three. Yeah, then so, press down. But then he also has the low extension. What's the low extension yeah. from that? The low is uh, up, forward, three, three, plus four. Ah, okay. So you can you could go into relax like this as well, right? Yeah. Or there are moves that after, yeah. Like ah. for example, the low, when your foot crouch down four or four. Yeah. Ah. And then you have while standing one free, which yeah. is a punish. Yeah. Or back free, free. Yeah. We're, we're giving away so much. Because yeah. you, uh, you, you basically uh, have to go for the opponent not to punish you. Right. This kind of situations. Okay. But when you use, for example, down for free, like I mentioned before, it creates a little bit, a little bit of space. And then you have always the unstand position chance to go. Okay. okay. Because okay. I, I'm doing down for free, down. Okay. If you do down for free back, you're going to unstand. Okay. So that's basically the general rule of most of these moves is. But well, you do a move, yeah. do down for relax. If you want to do handstand, do back to go yeah. with handstand. Or forward. Yeah, the problem is that uh, uh, the handstand transition is quite risky. So you generally, people uh, down. Yeah, relax. people, cause so, like so that, that you don't get hit. Because if you get hit, yeah. well, you could get hit with mainly a mid. Unless you unless you press it down. Floats you. Yeah, unless, or you do a move that hits low enough in the mid. So. We're in relaxed stance. Talk to me about relaxed stance, man. I want to know. I want to know yep. all the stuff that so you can get. So from relaxed stance, stance, of course, the first two moves are like starters. So mm -hmm. you get relax for three. Yeah. And then relax three four. One is a mid, and if you block it, it gets floated. Juggle, and the other one used to um, the first hit used to be safe then you should uh, have a low parry the second, take attack uh, two, for example. Now yeah. it's targets on block, uh, pretty early, because so it's minus 37. How do I do that low that you're doing? Yeah, that one, how do I do that? Uh, for free, quickly. Oh, for free. Relax, for free. Yeah. No, you did three, four. For free. Hold on. I'm doing for free. <laughs> do, I have to, do I have to hold down? Do I have to hold down? <laughs> no, no, no don't, don't press down. Just uh, relax uh, for free. Go. Oh, wait, wait, when? Okay, oh. Quickly. Ah. Uh, what was the one I did? 3 4? Yep. Oh, okay, my bad. <laughs> nice. Okay. And now, lock it. As you can see, there's the uh, snake edge animation of both. Okay. He gets, he gets every punched. Other than that, uh, the faster mid from Dax, Dax 4, which is homing, and minus 13, block. Okay. Mm. So there are, there are a few characters that I am able to heavily punish it, but usually it's a very good move, quite safe, let's say. Okay. It's not safe, but it's quite safe. Okay. Because distance because of 
character you're facing, but it's good. It's very good, especially because it's on. Okay. And, and then you have relax two, which leads you to either <laughs> <laughs> either relax three. Uh, okay. Which is a guaranteed encounter if relax two it's a counter. Okay. Let me. Let... Oh, nice. Oh, sorry. I tried to key charge him. My bad. Yeah. Uh, do it again. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I do now. Nice. Very good. Very, very nice. Or yeah. relax three, F three, mm. which is the same of four four three. Okay. I'll... And both are a teething counter. Nice. Also, as well, is that I noticed that people do relax uh, one one yeah. one three as one a round three. ender. Is very good, yeah. Yeah, as a round ender, people will be like, All right, let's do this. It's either a mix up, you could either do yeah. the big launcher. What's the big launcher? How do you do the big launcher again? One more time, yeah, this one, uh, the mid one. So, yeah. they, so, so they either do this or they do this, yeah, as a round ender. And now, I think this and, is very yeah, good. Uh, I, I like down for a freebie I mentioned before, you can then transition into whatever you like, not nah, yeah, like again or understand. Big. That is mad, and then you just say, <laughs> I mean, this character is actually fun. Yeah, this is very good. I think this is the best low uh, at the moment from Relax. Especially because it got fixed. Yeah. Finally got fixed in season 3. Because it, uh, sometimes the 3 didn't land. Yeah. Even if it was natural hit, 3 used to get blocked. Depending on distance or some sort of interaction between the characters. But now. Let's say 99% of the time so it lands so like I can have probably not for it. And the range is very good, look. Yeah, look whoa, whoa. It's amazing. So I think it's a let's say some sort of safe finisher finisher to end the match. Yeah. Alright. So is that is yep. do, do you reckon that's everything from relaxed stance then? All the good stuff? All the juicy stuff? Oh, oh um, I think it's so yeah. Because yeah, we got this, we got this, we got this. Oh, re simple relax free. Like, like an apple pop. Yeah. Okay. And oh, the, the, the very important one, we almost forgot, uh, is the same uh, forward jump as from the Einstein. Relax forward, relax forward. Ah. Yeah, that move is amazing. And also, depending on the distance and uh, the size of the character, uh, you're able to uh, float the opponent and then juggle it. Yeah, it's very situational, but it's doable sometimes. If you recognize the uh... I've definitely seen it happen. Yeah, like that, yeah. <laughs> but it's definitely yeah. range dependent though, right? Yeah, it's range and size dependent. Uh, size dependent. Okay, cool. So. Are we are we good for for the stuff on the stances? Yeah, I think so. Oh, we didn't speak about this move. This move as well. How do how do I do that one? It's side step free. Because yeah. there are so many. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, need to... you can we can add it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll add it. We'll add it here. That's cool. All right, let's talk about grabs, man. So you know, Eddie okay. Eddie has some good grabs. I I yeah, think uh, so. It... He hasn't got uh, common grabs, but in his grabs, I think they're useful anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah, simple one. One. Yeah. Doesn't okay. give you no okay or nothing like that, kicks you away. Yeah. The two. Okay. The, the important thing with the two is that it which side. Yeah. Even, it... uh, even break it. So since Eddie can step, at the ball it becomes quite a bad to, to manage the opponent pressing you. Yeah. But. There you go. And it gives you space as well. Yeah. It's very good for that. Then he's got uh, the aforementioned uh, throw from Anstan, which is unbreakable, but you can duck it. Yeah. It's slower, of course. It's like 24 frames. Then we have the infamous rodeo. I'm oh, sorry. Th that one's uh, the back one plus two one? Is that back one plus two? How did you down do that? Down for one, one plus two. Okay, you can take this as well, right? Yeah, 
And I think this is another underrated uh, pro because, of course, people tend to go for their audio. Yeah. It takes 50. Okay. But again, when you're pressure, when you're suffering pressure from uh, at all, then this was plus. The opponent, as you, say, as you can see, is face away, face down, so you can play some tricks on it. Ah, uh, okay, nice. Yeah. So I tend to use it a lot because it's, I think it's more efficient than audio. That's because uh, it can lead to more damage, and you basically can give victory, victory from uh, a disadvantage situation. Okay. Like you, you suffer impression for a wall, then you come back. Nice. So rodeo for people that don't know is, is that I do forward. I do half circle forward. Yes, half half circle forward. Yeah, one two. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's it for grabs. So we're gonna move on to yep. how to fight against Eddie. So. You know, I know you play in tournaments and stuff like that, so I'm not expecting you to give me every tip, but just give me like a few tips on how to fight against them. Yeah, I think uh, I, I know many people uh, took it like a joke uh, sometimes in social media, but mm. uh, one of the, the peculiar, most important thing to learn uh, how to play Sadie is really learn, learn the matchup. Yeah. Okay, because he hasn't got specific broken things now used to have that one but honestly if you can learn where to sidestep when to sidestep and how to block punish then you pretty much uh done to most of the players around especially uh, like run line and yeah you got to like clear and clear. Level players. Yeah, yeah, like for so example clear. people still uh, i'm still many people that are not able Punch back to the three, for example, or when standing on three, yeah, uh, properly down for a three plus four, which is as you can see, is minus 23. Yeah, so you're saying people ain't able to punish because your mic was uh kind of going a bit low there. So basically, you're saying people need to know how to punish back three, three while standing one, yeah. three, and down this is the fundamentals. Yeah. yeah, these are the fundamentals. Just look, uh, lab eddy practice card. I'm sure you'll find out how to counter it, to counter him properly, because the majority of the, the characters now uh, have all the set of tools to, to counter it. But um, generally speaking, what Eddie wants from you to is to get provoked and then to come after him, so yeah. he can land his keep outs, especially size that we pass four. And once you get beast or crossed because you're losing and then he can go for mix-ups. Yeah. Basically, Eddie can... What an Eddie player wants to uh, play, with, uh, play tricks with your mind. So even risky things, uh, or not, like, let's say, some kind of misplays become very uh, useful and effective if the opponent with pressure. Like, for example, this one. Yeah. No, I understand. All right, so you like... basically you have to stay focused, and with the character that sidestep, uh, I suggest to sidestep right, because most of Eddie's moves uh, can be sidesteppable, and don't be afraid too much of the relaxed stance, because usually uh, the opponent freaks out when I'm like that. But there are still options. Like for example, you can jump back. Okay. There you go, and you avoid uh, the mix-ups. So Eddie, knowing this, Eddie is forced to play either this one or the jump forward, which, uh, which you can uh, uh, sidestep. Yeah. Okay. So it's basically, um, fa it, let's say, fake advantage. It's psychological advantage rather than proper advantage, frame advantage, something like that. In the game. So like, psychological, uh, not same proper thing is, advantage. Yeah. For example, this one uses to freak people out because you're right in front of them. But you can still jump or sidestep, sidewalk especially, and be able to uh, 
speaks and gimmicks. Yeah. I think your mic, you need to talk clearer to your mic because it keeps fading out when you talk long. When you talk long, it kind of fades oh, out. Oh, sorry. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah no, I fully understand what you're saying. And uh, then re be ready for uh, with punish because mm -hmm. the keep up is basically uh, a mind game between the opponent and you. Yeah. So if Eddie is too eager to to get you, then he can be with punched. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, I think the last. So it's basically the, the main suggestion is to stay calm and learn the matchup uh, after lapping. All right. Cool. So the last thing I wanted to talk about now yep. is. Eddie's game plan and I wanted to talk about one thing that I think Eddie should be added like they should add to Eddie in a patch update so first things first we'll talk about one thing that I think Eddie should have I think Eddie should have like a wall carry compared like with all these other uh, characters that are in the game because a lot of characters have um, wall carries that go to the wall and Dragonoff, Josie, Katarina all these characters like Katarina has back one one what floats them to the wall I think Eddie should have yeah. something like that because the characters combo the back two four I feel like the back 2-4 is a yep. bit inconsistent because of the way how sometimes it hits on characters. Yep. So I feel like maybe that's uh, the way it hits up and then kind of hits them up in the air and make them go to the wall. Mm. Talking about wall carrying, the main issue with uh, back 4 is that it doesn't lead you straight. Exactly. Uh, doesn't lead the opponent straight uh, away. He, in juggles, so you he used to um, uh, leave the opponent on a side. So basically, maybe it happened to me very often that I'm close to the wall, but I get far from the wall or not on a side of the wall because uh, back uh, to four didn't land. Uh, the, no, sorry, not didn't land, but didn't get the opponent where I wanted. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. I think that um, what uh, an Eddie player looks like uh, looks for uh, is uh, basically to play his fundamentals and take the best, the most advantage uh, out from backdash. Most advantage out of backdash, yeah? No doubt. So like... Together with this, you, the player must be really aware of where, of where he's going. Because some, um, the thing is that uh, this is for intimate, intermediate players. Because uh, I would like to suggest that it doesn't matter if you show off backdashing. Because if you backdash too much, then you end up at the wall, and you pressure that. And usually the opponent is more in advantage than, than Eddie. Yeah. Back, the, yeah. the aim of the, uh, the backdash is just to, be ready to avoid, of course, the moves from the opponent, and then be ready to punish. So you don't need to, to do a stage of backdashing. You just need a couple of backdashes just to get out of range, and then we punish. Ooh. So, together with the backdash, the use of backdash to avoid moves, I suggest to tend, at least, if possible, of course, to stay in the, uh, at the center of the stage, unless you want it, but being at the center of the stage doesn't put you in a risky situation of being pressure at all. Yeah, that makes sense. It definitely yeah. makes sense. I also think, and like... Then, well, out of it, this is the basic, let's say, okay? then punish correctly of course and then uh, another like let's say it's not secret but because it's been uh, quite talked about now uh, Eddie has a unique size step so even if uh, the common knowledge is that he's trash he's very useful in very specific situations like for example uh, I don't know if we can uh, which card now but if you uh, have in mind um, Zafina's 1-3 yeah. that leads you to the stance, okay, yeah. and then 1 plus 2, yeah. okay, if uh, you're on it, yeah. the, the majority of the, the characters have to wait, of course, to, to wait for the 1 plus 2 to arrive. Eddie can uh, sidestep uh, 1 plus 2 instead. This right. is very specific and very unique of Eddie. So we, we could try that. We could try that. Um, yep. One more thing before we try that. Um, one move that I think we forgot is back one. We didn't speak about um, not back one. Um, what's the move that he has? The, the evasive one. Oh back yeah. One we didn't speak yeah. about this move, and this move is really good, and that one as well. 
Yeah, let's say, uh, yeah, yeah, let's add it. Uh, the evasive moves, okay, they used to be uh, only down back plus two, yeah, and then one plus two, and then uh, from the second attack, we have down back three plus four. So, this furthermore goes to show you yeah. that this character is trying to annoy you, so like if you press a button. You can just kind of just go like this, or go or go back one plus two. All right, let's try out this Athena thing before, and, and then we'll we'll wrap this one up for sure. Oh, you could go to simple select, simple select. Yeah, yeah. and then I'll go to yeah. Oh yeah, I can't even move. The Athena. There we go. So you want me to do one three into one plus yep. two? Yeah. Okay. Cool. There you go. Okay. okay. Usually, the opponent, uh, sorry, the, the other characters, if they block one plus three, they are able to go to side step one plus two, uh, one plus two, sorry, on the yeah. left. On yeah, the left. Yeah. Is that correct? If yep. I remember correctly. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Eddie cannot, but win again. There you go. Oh wow. Which is very nice. And on it, that goes away. Okay. Play the other characters, do it. Jack, go for one free. Yeah. And then one plus two. Okay. This is online so it's pretty harsh, but there you go. So even on here as well, wow. It is quite an, an, an unexplored field, but lately many uh, edit players, committed edit players, dedicated edit players, start to look for these unique situations. Okay. Which has, it can be game changing if you think about it. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then, yeah, going back into the strategy, I suggest just to be aware of your opponent and the matchup. Okay. Because um, let's say sometimes the Yeti player wants to land something to stance or, or wants to play a specific move. But this is quite common. When okay. basically for example with Leroy the matchup is terrible. So you have to just scheme all the movements and all the just the, the moves that work. Yeah. Okay. Or like playing tricks or kiki kiki or tricky because it simply won't work. Your your mic is going uh, funny you. again, so you have to talk clearer in the mic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah depending depending on the matchup, then, uh, Eddie can can be very let's say uh, poor in the move set. Yeah. Or he can be yeah. more creative. But this depends. I think it is, this depends on the matchup. But also on the card, and sorry, not the card, the opponent you're playing. Yeah. I mean, um, what, what, so do you think Leroy is the worst matchup for Eddie? Uh, Leroy. Yeah, Leroy is the worst matchup for Eddie, you think that? Yeah, no doubt. Um, why, how come? Very uh, if you can. Oh, I'll show you. Where is it? He basically annihilates Eddie mm -hmm. and uh, doesn't doesn't risk that much because it doesn't need to. Okay. Like for example, let's say the relax. Okay. Yeah. Do half uh, the orbital. Ooh. There you go. And not and not pressing anything. Okay. Then wait. Uh, get it by the low. This one. You see, I'm plus six. Okay, yeah. so very big advantage. And do the orbital. If you do it properly, you get. Uh, I get. Uh, there you go. <laughs> wow. But that that's only an example. Uh, do down for a one. There you go. Wow. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Uh. 
Uh, four, four, one plus two. Then up forward, three plus four, one plus two. See this one. On. Nah, all right, cool. I'm not pressing anything, right? Okay. <laughs> Right. And the thing is that it's 14, okay? So mm -hmm. I don't want to go in too much into frames, but uh, the fastest move from Eddie, I mean, uh, from Relax, is 15 frames, which is this one. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So 14 frames there. Any move on block, I'm done with a uh, forward 3 plus 4, 1 plus 2. Crazy. Yeah. And let's... Okay. Um, we talk about the orbital, okay? Yeah. So, since you are able to avoid uh, the low, this one. Yeah. Okay, I'm going for mid. And then the most efficient mid, I suggest, is four. That's four. Okay. Because yeah. if you go to, uh, to the orbital, yeah. let's say proper timing. Okay, wait. Oh, okay. You can float, okay? But the problem is that got the parry. Sorry. Go for the parry. And since the orbital eats me, even if I don't press anything, then I'm on it. Uh, you're bleeding. The mind game. Because if I wait for you for the parry, you can always go for the orbital, and then I get it. Or you can go for one f uh, up forward, three plus four, one plus two. Okay. Then try to be punish. Side step, three plus four. Uh, up forward, three plus four, one plus two. Up forward, three plus two. Da da. Oh my goodness. Wow, okay. yeah, this matchup is if bad. You're, if you're on point, forward, forward, and 2-2. Uh, two, two. Yeah, this matchup is bad. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this matchup is bad. I, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. It's bad. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it's not finished at all. I know. Do, do forward, forward, 2-2. Two, two. Okay, in this situation, it, it didn't hit. But sometimes it, the second one hits. I don't know why. Alright, uh, go on, go on, late, say that. It's difficult to show, but uh, it happens very frequently in, uh, during the match. I don't know why. Oh, like okay, that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. uh, at this um, Lux Dirt Box has issues. And mm. then, of course, all the stuff. I don't want to go for it, but like. Uh, anything from real, uh, from handstand, you can do uh, up for the plus four again. Okay. And then you go. Basically, anything is annihilated. Alright, cool. Parry and so, yeah. Can I show you something uh, really crazy? Alright, go on then. Just make, for make, make sure that this is the last one, because we don't want to make this go too, too long. Yeah. Where's Akuma? Do you know this already? I don't know. <laughs> you have to show me. I don't know. <laughs> Do uh, so, uh no. Do the full focus. A high, okay? Yeah. What? <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. We need to talk about this. What was <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? But... Yeah, that's crazy. Yep. All right. Well, in any news, I think that's the end of the teach <laughs> me. Um, yeah, man, bro. Thank you so much, it is, man, for taking your time out, man. I knew you was the guy, because I know you're an Eddy technician, specialist. I know this already. So to have you on was an absolute pleasure. So thank you so much. Yeah, for having you on. my pleasure, my pleasure. So, Thanks for having me. No worries, thank man. You, Jay. Could, no worries, man. Could you uh, let us know uh, if you're on social media for us, please? 
Yes, uh, I am Twitter and on Facebook. So the account is the same, is Aeneas uh, underscore TK. Awesome, man. Again, like I said, we, yep. play, we played back in Tag Team Days and bro, like, we've had some <laughs> good, good, good matches. And you Yeah, know, we played in Berlin in tournament. Yeah, we played in tournament. If who, I remember correctly. Who won? Yep. Who won? Was it me or you? <laughs> me. Oh, you won? <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, man. I'm coming back for I don't think, I, don't, I don't remember if it was, if it was pools or tournament. Bracket. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. But don't worry, I'll come back. I remember it was freaking cold that that, that year. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But don't <laughs> worry, man. I got Leroy here and I know all the tricks now. You taught me that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, thank you very much. This is the end of the Teach Me episode. Thank okay. you. Thank you, mate. No worries. I hope you lot enjoyed the episode. If you lot got any comments, leave it in the comment section down below. Or go on to Ears on Twitter or on Facebook. Uh, remember to subscribe. It doesn't cost a penny. And. I'll see you next time. Take it easy, everyone. Peace. Simmer down. Sim simmer down. Sim simmer now. Couple kicks to your boat. I'm a winner now. Like Eddie with the feet. I'm a killer now. Killer now. Killer now. Simmer down. Simmer now.